The second reaction in the oxidative portion of the pentose phosphate pathway uh, is mediated by the enzyme 6-phosphogluconolactonase. Uh, it takes the product from the last reaction, the, six, uh, the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, uh, which is 6-phosphogluconodelta-lactone, and it pops it open into 6-phosphogluconate. So right now, you know, we start our PPP glucose 6-phosphate, and we use G6P dehydrogenase to make an NADPH, and we end up with this 6 phosphogluconodelta-lactone. And now we're going to use our 6 phosphoglucolactonase to pop it open into 6PG. So that makes our life kind of nice because not only is this going to pop our ring open so we can do more chemistry, but it also uh, is going to help us to do the next step, which is another oxidation to make more NADPH. So we need to get this ring open, and the only way we have can do this is by hydrolyzing it, by using a ordered water molecule in the active site of our enzyme to open the ring. So this is just a lactone hydrolysis, but as we've seen many times before, these histidines can come in real useful for helping reactions to go. So what we're going to do is deprotonate this hydrogen off of the ordered water molecule in the active site, then we're going to use the bond electrons on the oxygen to attack at the carbonyl and we're going to break the carbonyl bond open. This is going to give us a tetrahedral intermediate which we can resolve uh, through the hydrolysis. So here is our tetrahedral intermediate. We have an OH from the water that just attacked. The O- is our old C double bond O that has the pair given back to it and our ring oxygen is still in place. So, of course, our oxygen on the carbonyl is going to want to reform into carbonyl because carbonyls are stable and special. Uh, we could always go backwards and kick off our OH, uh, but that wouldn't be getting us anywhere. So the only other option we have is to break the ring open and protonate the tail uh, using the, the water hydrogen that we protonated or deprotonated from the histidine in the first step. So now we've popped the ring open. And we end with our 6 phospho gluconolactone uh, and a recharged enzyme. Now this gluconolactone is similar to what we've seen with glucose except now it's oxidized remember because in the dehydrogenase step last time we were able to oxidize the aldehyde, the aldose sugar into a carboxylic acid in a rel relatively easy way. Everything else about glucose is the same right left right right in the Fisher projection and it's phosphorylated. This is glucose. So this is going to be our 6-phosphogluconate. Both of these are correct. So the cool thing about this is we're going to start doing our first decarboxylation, our first generation of CO2 that we've seen so far uh, in the PPP in the next step. The way we can do this is by reacting here at the beta position to the carbonyl to make an NADH, or an ADPH in this case, um, and we also will lose the CO2 from the top. So this is going to become a really big trend as we get into the Krebs cycle and into other cycles as these kinds of beta decarboxylations. If you have a double bond O, two positions away from a COO or a carboxyl group, you're going to lose this as a CO2 and you're going to um, end up making and doing an oxidative decarboxylation. So we'll see that in the next reaction.